Why did the Wachowskis choose the relatively unknown Carrie Ann Moss for the role of Trinity? How did her 40th birthday radically impact her acting career? And what made her return to her iconic role? Hi, I'm Janet. Let's find this all out. Live your dream no matter what. Acting was the only thing Carrie Ann ever wanted to do, at least after she got over her phase of wanting to be a vet. And although she had never known anyone who was an actor, she really believed that if she wanted it to happen, then she could make it so. The actress grew up in a very middle-class society and had a really beautiful, nurturing, simple childhood, which gave her a lot of stability and self-confidence. But not everyone was as supportive as her family, and young Carrie had to fight against people who told her to give up on her acting ambitions. Surprisingly, the most discouraging was a teacher of hers. A counselor who was supposed to be counseling her on her career suggested that she should have something to fall back on. I said, that's ridiculous. I don't need anything to fall back on. He couldn't believe it. And we got into a big argument, recalled the actress. But amazingly, Moss is grateful to anyone who told her she couldn't bring her dream to life, as it really fueled her inner fire and determination. Carrie Ann moved to California when she was 17 to study acting and soon became a model working across Europe and North America. Her modeling career was quite successful but one day, she just felt that it was time to move on. I was modeling and I was like, I can't spend another day doing the same thing. I'm going to live my dream no matter what. Within days, she moved to Toronto to pursue acting, eventually working her way to Los Angeles. Carrie Ann worked hard, never taking vacations and even missing family gatherings. I realized that if I stayed in LA over Thanksgiving, I'd get jobs because everyone else had left town. I was always working and her efforts paid off. Throughout the 1990s, Moss played over 20 roles in film and on TV, including the series Dark Justice and Models, Inc. But even she couldn't imagine that very soon, she would become a Hollywood star almost overnight, becoming the iconic Trinity. The Wachowskis saw a number of actors before they found Carrie Ann Moss, but as soon as they saw her in the audition, they knew they had found their trinity. Surprisingly, the fact that Moss wasn't very well known to the public was a point in her favor. The directors wanted someone that audiences wouldn't be able to bring their preconceptions of whether she was supposed to be a good guy or a bad guy, but that wasn't the only reason, of course. Carrie Ann had tremendous intensity and great physical presence. Even though she wasn't a trained fighter, she looked like she could throw a punch, revealed the Wachowskis. After the meeting with the Matrix directors, the actress had to do a really intense three-day process of screen testing, the first of which was three hours of running, kung fu, and taping all these different fights. And that was only the beginning. The actors had to do six months of fight training before filming started, as the Wachowskis wanted them to perform the action sequences themselves without stunt doubles. Inevitably, this led to injuries. During the shooting of the scene where Trinity does a cartwheel on the wall, the actress hurt one of her ankles so badly, she was sure it was broken. Fortunately, she managed to continue filming, although her ankle still hurt four months after the shooting wrapped up. And while shooting the Matrix sequel, Moss had to overcome her fear of motorcycles to become a key component in a sequence that made cinematic history, the freeway chase. I trained for months to figure out how to ride a motorcycle. I have kind of a major fear of them, revealed the actress. I felt very afraid to do it. I love that I did it and overcame the fear. She did have a stunt double this time, but it was important for the Wachowskis that Carrie Ann would do as much as she could for the scene. But amazingly, the actress never really thought about how to play the action scenes. She was more interested in the story. The action parts in the first script, I did read and thought, you expect me to do that? Recalled Moss. I saw it as a love story, a story about love conquering all, belief, faith, hope, destiny, choice. It's very beautiful. I call it a spiritual sci-fi film with extraordinary action. And it is probably this fusion of physical strength, inner depth, and vulnerability that made Trinity a truly iconic sci-fi character. However, despite all the fame the role brought her, after the premiere of the third part of the franchise, Carrie Ann Moss stated that she would be happy to move on to other things. Finding a new path or just bad choices. In her 2003 interview, Moss revealed that although her experience on The Matrix was totally awesome, she had no intention of playing similar roles in the future. I wouldn't play a leather-clad, kicking-butt girl. It just wouldn't make any sense to me. I'm not sad that it's over. It was a really intense, awesome experience, and I feel I completed it. She had already proved this intention by appearing in three films, in between suiting up for another round of Trinity. Her roles in Chocolat, Red Planet, and Memento, also radically different from Trinity in The Matrix, cemented Carrie 
Adrienne Moss as a star on the rise. But surprisingly, her further career was not as good as everybody expected. It seemed like she, as promised, deliberately chose projects that were nothing like the ones that made her famous. After The Matrix Revolution, she appeared in Suspect Zero, where she played an FBI agent alongside Aaron Eckhart. In Fido, set in an alternate 1950s, in which zombies have become domesticated, Moss played a housewife who bought a zombie for her family. In 2007, she starred alongside Shia LaBeouf in Disturbia, and the next year, she took part in the star-studded drama Fireflies in the Garden, alongside Ryan Reynolds, Willem Dafoe, and Julia Roberts. But none of these movies even came close to the success of the Wachowski sci-fi classics. In addition to films, Moss also did voice work for video games, and occasionally made TV appearances, including in the spy comedy Chuck and the critically acclaimed but short-lived drama Vegas. Fans also appreciated her role of the primary villain, Claudia Wolf, in the horror video game adaption, Silent Hill Revelation. However, the two major movies she did in 2014, Pompeii and Elephant Song, received negative reviews and performed poorly at the box office. And critics were not exactly flattering to the actress. For example, describing her role in Elephant Song as thankless. But was it only a bad choice of movies that seemingly sent Carrie Anne's career on a downward slope? It turns out, Moss had other priorities in life. Not just the woman from The Matrix. Amazingly, around the same time she booked the role of Trinity, Carrie Ann also started a family. In 1999, she married fellow actor Stephen Roy. Their first son, Owen, was born in 2003, and their second, Caden, just two years after. In 2009, the couple welcomed their only daughter, Frances. Motherhood has always been crucial for Moss, so although she continued acting, even during her pregnancies, she cut down her projects considerably. And since the day her eldest child was born, she made sure to have enough time for her family. Carrie Ann totally enjoys her very small, organic lifestyle, and admits that when she's not on set, she fully immerses herself in cooking, packing school lunches, and carpooling. Also, the actress continued to pursue her other lifelong passion, yoga and mindful living. Moss has been practicing yoga for more than 25 years, and says that it has helped her stay sane through both her career tribulations and parental challenges. Several years ago, she became a certified kundalini yoga instructor, which led to launching her Annapurna Living website. It is aimed at inspiring women by offering blog posts and courses on mothering, as well as monthly meditations led by Carrie Ann. I really wanted to share with women some of the things I've been just so fortunate to have exposure to living in LA, being an actress, and having this access to all kinds of people, she explains. However, Moss has never planned on ending her acting career. As much as she enjoys being a mom, it also feels incredibly good to stretch out of that comfort zone into the new real world. But after two decades in Hollywood, it came as a shock that the array of roles offered to her would suddenly become so scarce. Only grandmother rules after 40? It's not a secret that there is a huge difference in how male and female actors are treated as they age. To her great surprise, Carrie Ann Moss learned about this in a kind of brutal way. Incredibly, but for her, everything changed overnight when, coincidentally, she was offered a grandmother role immediately after she turned 40 in August 2007. Literally, the day after my 40th birthday, I was reading a script that had come to me and I was talking to my manager about it. Moss shared with Hollywood Reporter and she was like, oh, no, no, no. It's not that rule, it's the grandmother. Fortunately, the actress has always felt confident in her own skin and continued acting as she grew older, looking for roles that are interesting for her. In recent years, Carrie Ann has spent more time on television, having played notable roles in series like Humans and Marvel's Iron Fist and Jessica Jones. Funny enough, the sci-fi movie star is not into science fiction at all. It's like people say, oh my God, you're in all these sci-fi movies, explains Carrie. It wouldn't even cross my mind that any of them are sci-fi. I don't see it like that. I look at it as a story. And of course, Moss still looks back fondly on the trilogy that made her a star, saying that it was a highlight of her life, which essentially gave her the career she has today. Moreover, just last year, she re-entered The Matrix and reunited with Keanu Reeves on the set of the fourth film of the franchise. I never thought that would happen. It was never on my radar at all, she told Empire Magazine last June. At the same time, she was totally thrilled by the unexpected opportunity, calling it a gift getting back in Trinity shape. 
It looks like in the upcoming movie, Keanu and Carrie Ann will again perform most of their own martial arts moves. Unfortunately, in the real world, you can't just download a training program and learn kung fu in a minute. But Moss was excited to get back to physical training for the role, even after the injury she got during the filming of the first movies. However, she was well aware that at 52, she couldn't just jump right in and start throwing kicks in the same way she could 20 years ago. She had to be more careful and take a measured approach to slowly building her fitness, which wasn't easy because Carrie Ann can get pretty into it. The highly anticipated movie is in post-production already, but the cast and crew are still tight-lipped about its plot details. But the leaked footage reveals some insane stunts, including leaping from a skyscraper. So we can't wait till next year to see Neo and Trinity kick butt again. And while we wait, have a look at our other videos about the cast of The Matrix. And thanks for staying super awesome.